Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Let's get started. I want to put out a huge disclaimer when I do this video because I honestly feel like for one certain product I'm going to get a lot of shit for, but I'm alright. I will take the hit by telling you guys my honest opinions about the product and that's okay. My integrity is honestly one of the most important things to me one thing i really pride myself in is that all my review videos are completely a hundred percent honest my honest opinions now i am not in any way shape or form bashing any of these companies i don't know these companies or i haven't worked with these companies to say whether or not they are you know crap or not crap so perform am i bashing these companies that's not the, that's not what I'm trying to do but I am going to give you guys my honest opinions and show you guys my honest reviews and my honest thoughts because I want you guys my subscribers to be more informed consumers and as someone who doesn't like wasting my money I don't purposely buy leggings to give negative reviews I buy leggings in hopes that the leggings will be awesome because I love wearing leggings and I don't like wasting my money. So why would I buy products just to tell you guys that they're crap? It just doesn't make sense. So I just want to put that out there. I know I'm probably going to get shit and I'm okay with that. But I'm, I want you guys to know that all of my reviews are honest. So here we go. Let's get it. First legging is actually from Forever 21. Well, I have two. So the first two leggings are from Forever 21. And these are actually, they were $19.90 in a size medium. I was actually pleasantly surprised by these leggings because I have never purchased any leggings from Forever 21. So I was, when I, when I, went to buy them i didn't have high expectations for them but when i actually tried them on i actually really was surprised um for 19 dollars 90 these leggings are actually fairly good now the first leggings the gray silky ones uh, i'm not a huge fan of the material i'm not a huge fan of silky leggings if you are a fan of silky leggings then you might like these but i'm personally not a huge fan of silky leggings i feel like they feel cheap and they're not I don't know I just don't really like the feeling uh, but they they weren't too bad the fit wasn't too bad I felt like they were a tad bit loose these aren't leggings that really hug you per se but they do have a really cool side pocket and yeah so they're not they're not too bad at all for $19.90 I think these are fairly priced ones are actually just a tad bit sheer but nothing extremely noticeable where if you go out and do squats with like i guess i mean black underwear it won't be completely noticeable but keep in mind that they are 19 dollars 90 so yeah but they're not completely sheer uh, i honestly think with, for these leggings i would recommend for yoga i think they're pretty fair the one thing i didn't really like was the waistband i felt like the waistband wasn't really supportive it didn't really hug you it was just kind of like there and in terms of tummy control i really would give these maybe like a 1.5 to a 2.5 closer to a 3 at the most um i don't think that these leggings were made for people who have some stomach <laughs> like a kangaroo pouch i don't think those these leggings are really made for you because they don't have much tummy control now the black pair of leggings that i'm going to show you guys it's pretty much the same thing they're the same uh type of legging just in a different color but it was weird because i felt like the material was different i actually prefer the black material of the forever 21 leggings more than the gray material because the, the black material feels like legging material like it actually feels um pretty pretty legit like i was i mean for 19 dollars 90 guys these are actually i think honestly a bargain they're fairly good the black ones are not sheer whatsoever i didn't i mean if they're sheer they're very very lightly sheer but they're not sheer in my opinion i think these are great for like gym workouts for yoga 
but in, I haven't tested them out in terms of like high intensity or running. I don't think these are running leggings. I wouldn't purchase these if you're gonna go out and run. I think that the sweat isn't really going to kind of like wick. I think they're gonna get really weird and I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't really wear these for running. I don't think they're like that breathable per se. I mean, they do feel a little breathable, but not like, you know, like a legit running legging. So overall, I was pretty surprised and, and shocked about the Forever 21 leggings and I I think they're fairly, fairly priced. Now the next leggings that I have are from Old Navy and they're just like a, their Be Active I think line or their Old Navy Active line. Now these are sheer and <laughs> Yeah, so these leggings are actually really sheer. They're $34, which isn't too expensive. I think these are closer to, I think they should have been priced more on the $24, $25 range. I don't feel like, I think $34, I guess, is, is fine. Um, but they are sheer. And so that's something to keep in mind. In terms of tummy control, they didn't really have a lot of tummy control. I would say they're about the same as the Forever 21 leggings and like that two range like the 2.5 range for 34 dollars they're not bad leggings again they're not the best but they're not bad for 34 dollars i feel like they're pretty fairly priced but just be aware that they are sheer in terms of what kind of um what kind of out uh like activities i think this is great for i again don't think these are very good for running because the waistband actually felt like it was kind of like like loose and falling off it, it kind of digs into your side too so I don't think it's very flattering per se um, if you have a kangaroo pouch I wouldn't say that these are that uh, like hugely flattering unless you like wear a large t-shirt or something and you don't mind it so the next leggings that I'm going to talk to you guys are from Bayleaf now this company the Bayleaf company actually reached out to me and asked me to you know if, if I would review their leggings and I'm actually I'm very skeptical when companies reach out to me because you know I'm, I always and I I made sure and I told Bayleaf look I'm gonna give a hundred percent my honest opinion about your product I just want you to be aware of that when you are sending me these products they did send me this product to review but my opinions are legit my opinions so one thing I actually when I got the product these are um, on Amazon and I and they range uh, from like 20 20 dollars to 24 25 dollars um, in that range 30 I think 34 I think was the most expensive one that I saw I could be wrong but I'll definitely show you guys on the Amazon website and I actually when I looked it up so I looked up the product before I even said okay I am willing to to review the product because I'm not going to check a product out and know immediately that I dislike the product and then do a review and do a negative review on it. That's, I don't like doing that. So I checked out the product, they did send me the product and I actually was pleasantly surprised with the product. I I feel like they are fairly priced again. I really liked the black ones, they're not bad. Now again, they don't have a lot of tummy control. I would say 1.5 to 2.5 at the most but they're not bad leggings. The black ones are not see-through. I can't see through them. That the, the material is actually really, really nice. I'm For $24 to $25, the material is actually really, really nice. Now, I haven't done yoga and I haven't exercised in the product yet. I will be exercising and most likely give you guys an update on how like the actual legging feels when I like sweat and stuff. And I can do that on an update, like a vlog video, and you guys can check that out if you're subscribed. But overall, I'm actually really, really shocked and surprised. The black ones I actually preferred better are the gray ones. In the bay leaf version of leggings, I am a medium, and the gray ones actually felt, uh, felt they feel larger or they feel bigger than the black ones, which I thought was weird, but they're out of a different material. The gray ones actually feel very silky, which I don't really prefer silky leggings, um, but I love the pattern on them. I actually really do like the pattern on them. I'm kind of upset that they're not, they're kind of thin, the gray version ones, but I think it's because of the material. And, um, you know, in that case, I'm a little upset, but for $20, they're not bad, actually. I think the, this product is very fairly priced for what you get and, and for what I expected. I do think that the company should really focus on the waistband and making sure that the waistband is thick so that you kind of have, like, tummy control in that area. 
because at this very moment neither products really have any tummy control they're just you know regular leggings now do i think they're amazing not necessarily but i think they are very fairly priced okay now the next leggings that i'm going to talk to you guys and i actually left these for the end of the video because i feel like i may get a lot of shit by telling you guys my honest opinions about the product and yeah i'm kind of at the same time a little nervous to talk about this <sighs> i honestly don't like doing negative reviews i don't i try to find the best things out of a product like the best positive things out of the product i always try to find the silver lining from products right like even if they're complete crap i try to figure out some way to have a pro and this is a company that's actually very highly promoted on instagram and i was skeptical purchasing leggings from this company because they're actually very overpriced i think that they're around like 64 like 64.95 is probably like the cheapest i've seen these leggings and they go all the way up to like $74.99 I think or some or $74.95 around that range and I was very skeptical because I'm very weary about ordering like Instagram famous company products right but I always see Nicole Mejia which I'm a huge follower and supporter I love her like body positive movement I love get fit and thick um, and I, I've been following her for years. I love her, like her body, like her body is amazing. Do I think I will ever look like Nicole Mejia? Hell no. I know I'm not gonna look like Nicole Mejia. I'm not built like Nicole Mejia, okay? And I'm, I'm fully aware of that. But these leggings were actually one of the most disappointing products that I have tried as of today mainly because i honestly feel like this product is super overpriced i paid around 74 dollars that was including shipping and that was even with 10 percent off uh, to get this product now when i got the product you know the seams look kind of cheap to be completely honest i and i'm gonna show you guys and then this is the seams like you see that guys um which whatever you know but for 74 dollars i really expected these like they don't even have like a cutout for you know your whatchamacallit to breathe like <laughs> for 74 dollars i really wanted to love these guys because on the website it actually says that they're they don't give you returns now like they don't return or your refund your money now i actually got my money refunded but i'm gonna let, let you know why i got my money refunded i was skeptical about this product because it's a one size fits all kind of product and i i'm not a i wouldn't say i'm bigger i'm not lean okay and i know i'm not like super thick or you know i i know i don't look like nicole mejia hold them in my hand i'm like oh okay they kind of feel like lululemon but then, you know, after comparing it to the Lululemon, which yes, Lululemon is $98, for something that I'm gonna pay almost $80 for, I kind of expect it to be kind of to par. Um, and then the people who promote this product are saying that this, you know, everyone loves this product, this product is amazing. I think at the most I would pay for these leggings to make them even worth it would be 40 to 50 dollars at the most. And even then, after the like feeling them and the way they fit they fit loose i honestly wouldn't recommend it in my personal opinion now you're if you guys buy this product and it really worked out for you then please leave comments you know let me know um because it just didn't really work work for me the one thing and the reason why i'm saying that i'm probably gonna be a lot of shit for this is because i left a comment on a picture that nicole mejia put up with wearing leggings from this company and i said i actually was highly disappointed and she wrote back to me and then some other people like commented or whatever and i said the truth like i said that i was highly disappointed and i really wanted to love these leggings but they didn't work out for me uh they're sheer and they're not as thick as i expected unless this is what thick suplex means i don't i don't know 
and the company reached out to me they dm me on instagram and i i will say that the company does have very good customer service and i i applauded them on their customer service i think they sent me out the leggings fairly quickly but i did not like the fact that i felt very uncomfortable with the fact that the the people were kind of telling me to delete my comment. Um, I mean, they were trying to make things better by sending me out a different color of legging, but at the same time, they kind of made it seem like I'm not shaped for these kind of leggings or I'm not my body, I don't know. It just, they really rubbed me the wrong way and I did not like that. I don't like the fact that you're contacting me, telling me to delete my own comment nah i don't think so you guys should be able to take constructive criticism and i'm an unsatisfied customer now i did get my money refunded they did say that they were going to refund me my money so we'll see i feel like i'm a pretty fairly normally sized human being or an average sized female in america at least i hate to do reviews like this and i hate to say bad things about a company i think their customer service is great i'm absolutely very very happy to get my money refunded but i would never purchase a product ever again not because i had a bad experience with the company but just because the product overall was not what i expected and that's my own personal opinion other people can have other opinions but i want you guys to be more informed consumers and i you know i have to tell the truth you know and even though it sucks i really wanted to really like this company because i really love the way they look on their models but I don't think it's meant for girls like me and that's perfectly fine and I don't blame them. Anywho, I, let's try to leave in a positive note. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any more follow-up questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you have any other brands of leggings that you would like for me to test out and try and review, please also leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social media platforms, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You know, and there's a little bit more claims there, but those are the claims that this product says that they do. Now, I only have the tub of sweet sweat. 